Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to our subject that is building technology and architectural planning. In previous lecture, we discuss about the uh, what is the door, what is the main function of the doors, what is their location, and uh, what are the types of the fixtures we used for constructing or for building the door. Okay. In this lecture, we will discuss about the what are the types of the bolts. Okay, so let's start in fixtures. The bolts there are different types of the bolts uh, commonly used for the doors uh, and windows. That is the uh, metal rod or the pin, which is for fastening the objects together. That usually uh, has the head at the one end and the screw thread at the other. Okay, and it is secured by the nut. You can see here. It is secured by the nut. Okay. This is a metal rod. The next is in bolts. There are lot of lots of types in bolts. The first one is the tower bolts. So, what is the tower bolt? You can see here. Yeah. So much sizes. Sizes is here. Okay. So. A wood or the metal bar or rod is it is used to fasten a door. Okay, this is called as the tower bolt. It is used to fasten a door. Okay. The next is the barrel bolt. So what is barrel bolt? It is the type of the fasteners that is the nut. You can see these are the nuts. Okay. Has a barrel shaped flange. This the shape of the bar is like a barrel. A barrel shaped flange and protruding the boss that is internally threaded. Okay. That means you can see here this is this is the threading. Okay. So this is thread directly in that in these holes. Okay. This is called as the barrel bolt. The next is the eye and hook. You can see here eye and hook. The shape of uh, this is just like eye. Okay, this is hook. Okay, what is the eye and hook? This is the wood or the metal bar uh, or the rod which is used to fasten a door. Also, the clothing fasteners fasteners consisting of a small blunt metal hook that is inserted in the corresponding loop or the eyelet. This is the hook. Wait a minute. This is the hook which is inserted in this eye hole. Okay. This is also well type of bolt, eye and hook. Next is the handles. So there are the different types of the handles. Now this manufacture in a variety of the designs. Okay, but there are some commonly used. Okay. Now most of the uh, uh, handles is uh, constructed or the material used for that handles is for iron brass steel okay so handles edge for handles so you can see this is also a shape of the edge it is a design with a single hollow circular section that is joined in an edge profile okay so both ends both ends are crowned with one crystal okay okay the next is the round handle you can see here i think you see thin legs handles what is the round handles uh, the best thing about this type of door hardware is the uh, children and pets have the hard time to opening the doors that is true so that's why this uh, round handles is used Okay, but uh, there is also one advantage is for same. Okay, round handles is most of the time used. Okay, the next is decorative handles. Do uh, regular uh, door knobs. For regular door knobs, uh, it is easy, but more than this uh, decorative handles is used. This will give a uh, you know elegance feeling to the doors, 
and also they are reversible in right and left side doors okay the next is the boot handles you can see the shape of handles is just like a boot okay so it is called as the boat handles it is also manufactured in very various uh, varieties of design next is lock you know that the various types of the locks is uh, fitted on the doors and windows you can see there are there is various types of the locks the next part is the mortise lock actually this is used in a flat systems okay what is mortise locks it is a uh, in british english language so you know it is the lock which require a pocket to cut it into the cut it into the door or the pieces of furniture into which the lock is to be fitted this is also one another example of the mortise lock the next is the padlock this is mostly used in a shops okay this type of lock the next is the rim lock you know it is fitted in the surface it is fitted in the surface of a door you can see here rim lock interior and this is exterior lever handle lock the various types of the locks is fitted on the doors and it is made up of the many different types is okay so the next part is the size of the door so there are the various different sizes of the doors okay that as per the requirement or as per the type of the building okay so it is depend upon the requirement of the room okay so what are the common uh, criteria for size of the door uh, the first criteria of the size of the door is width so width is in between Wh what is the criteria for width it should be 0.4 to 0.6 into height okay whatever the height into multiply by 0.4 to 0.6 should be its width of the door okay this is the first criteria of the width of the door then the second criteria is the height so what is the criteria for height that is the width plus 1.20 meters okay height is what width plus 1.20 meters this is the second criteria of the size of the door so there are the some different uh, uh, you know the size of the doors for the residential building if there is a external door then the size of the building is uh, sorry if there is external door then the size of the door should be 1 into 2 meter to 1.1 into 2 meter okay if there is a internal door then the size of the internal door is 0.9 into 2 meter to 1 into 2 meter okay and if there is a door of bath and wc then the size of the door of bath and wc should be 0.7 meter into 2 meter to 0.8 into 2 meter okay as if there is a garages uh, for cars then the height should be 2.25 meter height into 2.25 meter width to 2.25 to 2.40 meter okay these are the some size of the doors including garages okay also you know in general the door should have such a dimensions that it would allow the movement of the largest object and the tallest person likely to use the door okay in case of the residential building it should be aimed that two persons walking should to shoulder can freely move through the door okay and also on the other side the width of the wc and bathrooms where the only one person is expected to go at a time a door width of 75 cm is considered okay and the garage garage door is uh, it should be permitted a car to pass through okay 
the next is for the public building if uh, there is a school then the size of the door in the school is 1.2 by 2.1 meter if there is a hospital then the size of the hospital door is 1.2 by 2.1 meter and if there is a library that the library height of the door should be 1.2 to 2.25 meter okay you know that there are various types of the doors available in market that is the uh, panel door flush door rolling shutters glaze door lower door sliding door batten door collapsible doors uh, revolving doors plastic doors swing doors folding doors okay these are all are the types of the doors okay uh, in previous lecture we discuss about the what is the door frame okay so in door frame what is the head what is the rebate what is the horn what is the floor level and we discuss about the various uh, door shutters and their definitions okay so uh, i think all of you are understood that what are the types of the doors what is the function of the doors what is the location of the doors what are the minimum sizes of the doors as per the uh, uh, residential building and for the public building as per the school hospital libraries okay in next lecture we will discuss about the next topic that is what are the types of doors in details okay that is one panel two panel three panel four panel five panel six panel okay what is the uh, various types of single lip panel doors what is the batten and leg doors they are detailing what is the hinges what is the batten means what okay panels means what all we will discuss it in the next lecture okay so if you have any doubt regarding this lecture please ask me on google classroom or in our youtube channel and please mark your attendance in the comment box of youtube channel okay thank you so much have a wonderful day